Hey guys, what is going on? I hope all of you are having a fantastic day today, unlike me. I'll get to that soon. So in my last video of the Pixel 5, I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see a head-to-head -head comparison of the Pixel 5 up against the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G. Gotta love these names. Now, many of you have said yes, and by many of you, I mean like the three of you, so thank you. <laughs> But anyway, today is October 2nd. As of recording this video, you guys are probably going to be watching this video October 3rd. Uh, I drove on to Best Buy. I picked up the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G on the way home. I cracked my windshield a little bit, so um, I blame Samsung. Now, Best Buy is selling this currently for 600 bucks. That is right. It is $100 off the day of release. Honestly, pick it up right now. Don't even finish this video. Go to Best Buy, pick this phone up. For 600 bucks, man, this phone is, um, it's a steal. I don't even have the Pixel 5 yet, and I'm really liking this phone. <laughs> the box itself is your standard normal Samsung box that we have seen for, um, I don't know, a really long time. Inside the box, you have this really random thin piece of tissue paper. Uh, I think Samsung knew that I was gonna, you know, uh, crack my windshield, so I'll cry about it. Further in the box, you do get the phone itself and all of its amazing green minty beauty goodness that is the Samsung Galaxy OnlyFans edition. Next in the box, we have a 25 watt charger and the obvious USB-C cable. Now the phone, like I said, does have an MSRP of $700, but depending where you are, if you guys have a Best Buy that's running this promotion, you can get it for 600 bucks. If you guys do not have that promotion, it's a Samsung product. Just wait a month and it'll go down to 600 bucks. So what do you get for 600 slash 700 bucks in terms of specs? Well, let's go ahead and go over it. The phone has a Snapdragon 865, six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of base storage with the ability to expand to one terabyte. Now that storage is run by UFS 3.1. The screen is a 6.5 inch beautiful 1080p Super AMOLED display capable of 120 hertz refresh rate. It also has an always on display and to power the whole thing is a 4500 milliamp hour battery. Now if that wasn't impressive enough for 600 bucks, let's continue. Looking at the cameras on the back, you do have a triple camera array which features a 12 megapixel f1.8 for the main camera, an 8 megapixel f2.0 telephoto camera, and a 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide camera which is comparable to about a 13 millimeter on a full frame camera, which is like wide. In fact, it is ultra wide. See what I did there? Please don't unsubscribe. Now the back of the phone is plastic, but that does contain the wireless charging and reverse wireless charging capability. Now to unlock the phone, you do have your normal basic face unlock. You get the pin, you get the pattern, you give your blood to the phone, that will unlock it too. But you know, it also has the uh, fingerprint sensor, which is optical instead of sonic. In my opinion, optical is just so much better, man. It, it's, it's less headache, it works much faster, much more reliably. It is a really good fingerprint sensor. But we're not even finished yet, my friends. This phone also has IP68 water resistance. So if you are in, you know, the middle of the Atlantic Ocean on the Titanic, your phone's gonna survive. I don't know about you though, man, this just got dark. <laughs> now the only real downside I can really even see with this phone, man, this I love this color. Damn, look at that. That looks so good on camera. Is this gonna be my thumbnail? Hang on. Nah, that doesn't look good. Hang on. Yeah, that's it. The thing I don't like about this phone is that the front display is Gorilla Glass 3. Not four, not five, not six. Do they have seven? Not sure. Um, you know, uh, just put on a screen protector just in case. I mean, I know most of you do anyway, but this phone, you you might want to really be careful. I mean, I'm not, it's not going to scratch like immediately, but uh, it's not really the most scratch resistant display out there. So with, with specs like these, what's the point of getting a flagship phone over $1,000? I mean, really, why? I mean, sure, okay, this doesn't have the 865 plus. O okay, and? I mean, I don't know. That's just my way of looking at it. Uh, I'm a normal person, you know. Um, I consider myself a normal kind of consumer. I may know a little bit more about phones than the average person, but still, I consider myself a normal consumer. I just want a phone that works good and has a great price tag. Here, this is it. 
Another small downside I can really try to think of is only 6 gigs of RAM. They do have an 8 gigabyte of RAM option depending where you live. This model right here, the pretty, pretty much the base model of this phone, uh, 6 gigs of RAM. Uh, I'll see how that works. Um, you know, I'm going to wait for my actual full review of this phone to really give you guys an opinion on the RAM. Um, but I mean, as first impressions go of two hours since I got the phone, it's pretty good. I really like this phone so far. It's fantastic. The screen, uh, the screen, what? <laughs> the screen gets super bright. Um, there's a small little hole cut out, which houses the 32 megapixel selfie camera. I mean, this, that's a very small hole. You get 25 watt fast charging. You get 15 watts wireless charging. You get four and a half watts of reverse wireless charging. I mean, bro, 600 bucks. That ain't half bad. And before you guys say, Mark, you can get a used phone that's like so much better. Yeah, okay, I don't want some coronavirus filled phone that someone else touched with their hands and were holding it while they were pooping. I want a fresh phone, thanks. With a fresh battery too. So guys, if you cannot wait for the full review, if you got ants in your pants and you just need to know some more information about this phone on my opinion about it, uh, yeah, let me know. Instagram, Twitter, it's everything's here. I will put something up on the screen so you guys can follow me and ask me there. And um, that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and play with this phone. So uh, yeah, adios.